गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ थर्ड चैप्टर दैट इज एडिशन विदाउट केयरिंग ओवर यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न हाउ टू एड टू नंबर्स लेट अस रिवाइज इट वेल लुक हियर टोनी हैज थ्री पर्सेस ईच कंटेनिंग हंड्रेड बिट्स एंड सोनू हैज फाइव पर्सेस ईच कंटेनिंग हंड्रेड बिट्स सो How many purses they have all together? Yes, the answer is five plus three. That is eight purses. So they have eight purses. Now, how many bits they have all together? Well, that would be five hundred plus three hundred. That is eight hundred bits. So they have eight hundred bits. Now we will see how to add the numbers with the help of money. If Tony has two hundred rupee notes, one ten rupee note, and five one rupee coins, and Sonu has one hundred rupee note, three ten rupee notes, and two one rupee coins, so how many hundred rupee notes do they have all together? Let's find out. For that, first we will count hundred rupee notes. Tony has two hundred rupee notes, and Sonu has one hundred rupee note, which means two plus one is equal to three. That is, there are total three hundred rupee notes. Now the next question. How many ten rupee notes do they have all together? Answer: Tony has one ten rupee note, and Sonu has three ten rupee notes. So total would be one plus three, that is four. So together they have four ten rupee notes. The last question. How many one rupee coins do they have all together? Answer: Tony has five one rupee coins, and Sonu has two one rupee coins. Five plus two is seven, so total there are seven one rupee coins. Observe the examples based on the picture. Complete them by adding units to units, tens to tens. And hundreds to hundreds. Now we will learn how to place the number in hundred, ten, and units place with the help of the given object. So here you can see there are three different types of objects. First is purse containing hundred bits. Second is necklace containing ten bits. and the last is loose bit now tell me students how many purse you can see in the first column yes it is one so we will write one in the hundred place how many necklace you can see in the first column yes it is two so we will write Two in the tens place. Now, how many loose bit? It is one. So we will write one in the units place. Now, tell me, students, how many purses you can see in the second column? Yes, it is two. So we will write two in the hundreds place. How many necklaces are there in the second column? One. So we will write one in the tens place. How many loose bits? Three. So we will write three in the units place. Now, students, if we shift these places as in hundred, ten, and unit on the top, and write the respective number below them. Then also we can carry out the additions. Example: under hundred, 
इट वुड बी वन अंडर टेन टू अंडर यूनिट वन प्लस अंडर हंड्रेड टू टेन वन अंडर यूनिट थ्री नाउ लेट एस डू दी एडिशन वी नीड्स टू बिगिन फ्रॉम द यूनिट्स कॉलम वन प्लस थ्री वुड बी फोर यूनिट्स टू प्लस वन विल बी वुड बी थ्री टेन्स एंड वन प्लस टू वुड बी थ्री हंड्रेड्स सो द आंसर इज थ्री थर्टी फोर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फोर लुक एट द पिक्चर्स एंड राइट द नंबर्स एट द नंबर्स स्टूडेंट्स लुक यर इन द फर्स्ट कॉलम वी हैव वन पर्स सो वी विल राइट वन ओवर यर वन नेकलेस सो वी विल राइट वन ओवर यर एंड टू लूज बिट्स सो वी विल राइट टू ओवर यर नाउ इन द सेकेंड कॉलम वी हैव टू पर्स so we will write two over here one necklace so we will write one over here and five loose bits so five over here now we will begin the addition from the unit side two units plus five units is seven units one ten plus one ten is two tens and 100 plus 200s is 300s so the answer is 327 arrange vertically and add students look here they have given you the number addition numbers in horizontal way so first you have to arrange them vertically and then you have to add the numbers first one One hundred and twenty-five plus one hundred and forty-four. First, we will arrange this number in vertical way. Below hundreds column, we will write one. Below tens, two, and below units five. Plus one below hundreds column. Four below tens, and four below units. Now let. Let's add the number from the unit side. Five plus four is nine. Two plus four is six. And one plus one is two. So the answer is two hundred and sixty-nine. Next sum. Five hundred and thirteen plus three hundred and sixty-five. First, we will arrange them vertically. Five will be. Five we will write over here. One over here, and three over here, plus three over here, six over here, and five over here. Now we will add them. Three plus five is eight. One plus six is seven. Five plus three is eight. So the answer is eight hundred and seventy-eight. students till now we have learned how to add the numbers in vertical way now we are going to study how to add the numbers in horizontal way let us observe this addition you know that we add units to units and write the answer at units place so 1 unit plus 1 unit is equal to 2 units this answer we will write over here likewise 2 tens plus 5 tens is 7 tens this answer you will write here and 400 plus 300 is equal to 700 so you will write 7 over here so the answer is Seven hundred and seventy-two. In this way, we will add the numbers in horizontal way. Now see the next sum. Five hundred and twenty-seven plus two hundred and sixty-one. Now let us add this. Five 
number. Seven units plus one unit is equal to eight units. So you will write eight over here. Two tens plus six tens is equal to eight tens. This you will write here. And five hundred plus two hundred is seven hundred. So you will write seven over here. So the answer is seven hundred and eighty-eight. Addition of three numbers. Now we are going to study how to add three numbers. First one, four hundred four hundred and fifty three plus one hundred and four plus one hundred and twelve. First we are going to arrange them in vertical order, and then we are going to solve this sum. Now, let's begin the addition from the units column. Three units plus four units. Is seven units. Seven units plus two units is nine units. In the tens column, five tens plus zero tens is five tens. Five tens plus one ten would be six tens. In the hundreds column, four hundreds plus one hundred is five hundreds. Five hundred plus one hundred would be six hundred. So the answer is six hundred and sixty-nine. Now the next sum: two hundred and two plus thirty-four plus eleven. First, we will arrange them in vertical way, and then we are going to solve them. Let's begin the addition from the units column. Two units plus four units. Is six units. Six units plus one unit is seven units. In the tens column, zero ten plus three tens is three tens. Three tens plus one ten would be four tens. In the hundred column, we have two hundred, which means the answer is two hundred and forty-seven. Thank you.